here we have to find out area included between the curves two curves are two ellipses one of them is x square by x square plus y square by b square this is equal to 1 and another one is x square by b square plus y square by a square this is equal to 1 and we have to prove that included area is 4 ab tan inverse b by a right now we first draw a rough sketch of two curve because two are most well known curve all of us so we write first or we draw first the first ellipse this ellipse is given by like this this is given by x square by a square plus y square by b square this is equal to 1 and we know that this ellipse is symmetric about x and y axis both right this is y dash this is x and this is x dash and the second one is looks like the major axis along the y axis and this is the second one this this is the rough sketch of the area and it is clear that area included between two curve is in four quadrant first second third fourth and since two curve are symmetric about x and y axis so included area also symmetric in four quadrant so if we find or find out the area in the first quadrant then we multiply it by 4 so we get the total area or total included area okay so we try to find out the included area in the first quadrant that is the area shaded by dot we have to find out this area only okay we draw a perpendicular on x axis from the point a what is the point a the point a is the point of intersection of two curves here we write the second curve this is x square by b square plus y square by a square this is equal to 1 so our first task is find out the intersection of two curve to find out the intersection we first equate two value of y square from here we get the value of y or y square is given by b square into 1 minus x square by a square and from the second ellipse we get the value of y square this is equal to a square into 1 minus x square by b square right and now we solve this equation for x that is b square minus a square this is given by equal to x square x square into b square by a square okay we take common x square from this term and this term this is b square by a square and from here we get a square by b square right and this is x square into a square b square into b to the power 4 minus a to the power 4 Now x square in square minus a square into b square plus a square by a square b square. We cancel out b square minus a square from both side and we get the value of x square. This is equal to a square b square by a square plus b square, right? And this gives x equal to a b by under root a square plus b square and plus minus. Okay. so we get two value of x this is ab by root a square plus b square no need to find the value of y for the point of intersection a because we use this value of intersection as the range of integration and since the integration is with respect to x so we have only find the value of x for the intersecting point Okay. okay so if we draw the perpendicular then it is a dash the coordinate of a dash this is given by ab by ab by under root a square plus b square comma 0 this is the point
also we know that the end of the semi minor axis that is if we name this end is b and this end is b dash if we know that the coordinate of b that is the major axis one end of the sorry minor axis for this ellipse is given by this is G, b 0 okay and this is obviously minus b 0 for the second ellipse now to find out the shaded area we have to integrate from 0 here origin this is 0 0 from 0 to a dash for the first ellipse this is the first ellipse we double set for this area and now integrate a dash to b for the second ellipse we set different type in this area okay so we write here the required area Required area is equal to 4 into integration. This is given by x equal to 0 to a dash means a b by root under b square plus b square y dx. What is y? y for the first terms. This is given by y is given by b square into root under. 1 minus x square by a square. This is not b square, this is only b because we get y and plus 4 into integration from a dash to b that is x equal to a b by under root a square plus b square to b. Here also y dx but y from the second dx. And this is given by y this is equal to a into root under 1 minus x square by b square. Okay. Now we put the value of y here. We get 0 to a b by root a square plus b square. And this is b into root 1 minus x square by a square dx. And for the second one, this is 4 and this is AB by root A square plus B square to B. And this is also given by the value of Y is A into root under 1 minus X square by B square dx. Okay. So, we take common from here. This is 4B by A integration 0 to a b by root under a square plus b square root under a square minus x square dx and for the second one we also taking common a by b a by b and this is a b by root a square plus b square to b b square minus x square dx right and now the formula same formula applied here this is 4b by a into formula is x into root a square minus x square by 2 plus a square by 2 into sin inverse x by a and the ranges are 0 to a b by under root a square plus b square and for the second one a by b same formula applied here this is x into root b square minus x square by 2 plus b square by 2 into sin inverse x by b. Here also the ranges are from a b by under root a square plus b square to b. Right. Now by putting the upper range and lower range we get 4 b by a into if we put upper range a b by root under this we get from here this is a b by under root a square plus b square into root a square minus x square means a square b square by a square plus b square whole by two plus a square by two into sine inverse a square by two sine inverse by putting the value of x is upper range this is given by b by under root a square plus b square because 
a and a cancel out and for the lower range we get this is zero because sine inverse zero we get so it is zero okay and from the second term we get 4 a by b now if we put the upper range b then we get zero from here and if we put lower range then we get minus a b by under root a square plus b square into b square minus a square b square by a square plus b square 4 by 2 right and from here we get this is b square by 2 we put up upper range first this is sine inverse 1 so we get pi by 2 minus we put lower range this is sine inverse b b cancel out we get a by under root a square plus b square Okay, this is the integrate value by putting range. Now, from here, calculating we get 4b by a. From here, we get ab by under root a square plus b square into half. From here, we get a square and a square to the power 4 by this. So, we get clearly this is a square by under root a square plus b square because a square b square cancel out and the second term is plus a square by 2 sine inverse b by under root a square plus b square this is the first term and the second term is 4 a by b this is minus minus half into a b by under root a square plus b square into from here we get this is a square b square a square b square cancel out so this is b square by under root a square plus b square okay and from this term we get this is b square by 2 and this is given by cos inverse a by under root a square plus b square because pi by 2 minus sin inverse x this is cos inverse x right now if we multiply by 4b by a then we get for the first term this is 4 a cube b square and a a cancel out that is 4 a square b square by 2 into a square plus b square right and from here also we get this is minus 2 a square b square by this so this term and this term after product cancel out and there remains two term this is the first term and this is the second term so we get the result as this is 4 b by a into a square by 2 sine inverse b by root a square plus b square and from here we get another term this is 4 a by b into b square by 2 this is cos inverse a by root a square plus b square right now b b cancel out a a cancel out and we taking common 2 a b from here and there also so we get the result as 2 a b into the first term is sine inverse b by this is root a square plus b square and the second term is plus cos inverse a by root a square plus b square okay now it is clear that our answer is 4 a b into tan inverse so we try to transfer sin inverse and cos inverse both into tan inverse clearly we know that this is 2 a b sin inverse b by root under a square plus b square and so this is perpendicular and this is hypotenuse so clearly a be the a be the base and hence we can write sin inverse sin inverse b by root a square plus b square this is equal to tan inverse b by a okay it is very simple result and similarly we we write cos inverse cos inverse a by root a square plus b square is also tan inverse b by a okay so we get from these two results 
2 into tan inverse b by a. So we write here 2 into tan inverse b by a. And we get simply our required answer is 4 ab into tan inverse b by a. Okay. And we solve our problem to find the area included between two areas. Very simple problem but interesting problem of area enclosed by plane curve. Thank you. Thank you for watching.